right i'm just going to give connect this to this so name it as get web data that would be easier for me to recognize later on double click on it and it loads this up i'm going to leave the settings as they are i'm just going to have a look on the input columns first okay so we have got one column available for input let's select that inputs and outputs now as we've already got links as input we do need an output as well which will contain the description or the text of the web page i mean links would be there anyway as the output so i'm just going to click on there you should see it over here this is the input right i'm just going to add another column which would be description text and i'm going to change its type to let's say string for now change it to and it's changed it to 8000 actually for some reasons gave me an error before <laughs> anyway all uh, right so i've got a new column over here with the name of description text and i've got the data type and i've got the length so what i'm going to do now next is just going to go to the script over here and i am going to click on edit script Let's open up on my second screen so I'm just going to drag it here and that's fine right in there what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to iterate through each row and on each row I'm just going to get the data from the web page so in order to do that let's see how it can be done first I'm going to create a new class and call it as web scrap fair enough I'm just gonna I've already got this code here I'm just gonna copy and paste it these are basically simple two functions one of them is for removing the HTML from the web page by using the strip HTML function which uses a regular expression to replace I mean it looks up this regular expression to replace the values into your text and to trim out the HTML because you don't want any HTML coming through still you can tweak this function a little bit I just got the script from a scripting site and please do remind me if I haven't put your references in I'll just put your references in because I really don't remember at this point that where I got this from <laughs> anyway right and we've got like a function over here which takes the data it, it uh, I mean here we are creating an empty these are just the declarations so I'm not worried about them and what we're doing over here is we're just having a web request which gets the page link from the text file as every time the iteration is going to run in our program over here in the main program it would take a new link which will come down around here and this link can be passed into the web request and then the web request will be processed later on over here and then the response will be processed later at a later stage but the thing is that we are already faking up a user agent i have put it as microsoft internet explorer 8 in terms of that because sometimes when you're trying to crawl a page it gives you that you cannot have i mean it blocks the robots in there so what i've done is i faked it with uh, msie 8 for now just for my testing purpose right so what i'm gonna do is um, the next stage actually i'm just not gonna miss that for you i mean it's just uh, translating the uh, it's just copying the byte ray into the string actually the string which we have uh, de declared over here and then it's converting it to a string builder and appending it to that which is separate thing anyway and then we're passing the way we're just uh, trimming out that string and after trimming that out uh, we are stripping the html tags in here this is the function i mean if i cannot go to the function actually <laughs> i'll just click on here this is the function it takes the input string which is coming from here and it gives you an output which would be based upon this filtration or whatever anyway so and after that i mean it's just like an if else condition which checks that if the length of the string is greater than 8000 characters it's just going to trim it till 8000 character 
I mean, I shouldn't get any string bigger than 1000 characters. And having said that, it is because I have placed a restriction, which if you can see over here for 8000 characters. Now this can again be changed in terms of if you're creating your own scripts or whatever, you can use like blobs, binary large objects, and other things as well in terms of that. Right, and it's going to return me a value. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to my main file and I'm going to save this and I'm going to create a reference to that clause, which would be web scrap wb. And now to, in right, I'm just going to compile it and it will give me errors actually. Okay, there you go. The references were not included on the top for this. I don't mean, build this package, I'm just building it for fun. So let's see. This is the first time I'm building it as well. Right, and I'm gonna resolve them using the package identity, I guess, or the GUID. So that should be done. And it should be appearing over here. In terms of that. Right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use WB scrap dot read this. This is a method which is going to get the data from the web page. But first I need to make sure that I get the text into the text description which we have defined over here. I mean the best way to get it over here is use the row, which is an input row, and call it by that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just going to use wb scrap dot read string and then what I'm gonna do is row dot links. Remember we changed the name of the inputs which were here. We named this column as links in the input. So this is the column which is going to be inputted over there in terms of start. So I go back to the script. And that should be it in terms of this. I um, mean, it should go to the page, it would get the data, but a good practice in your code would always be to write a try catch block in case you encounter any exception in terms of that. And I'm going to pass it to a message box. which would be, let's get the source or the message, should be fine. If you need detailed debugging, you can always enable that. To resolve this, I'm going to use forms on the top, which are going to be here. That's fine. And I'm going to compile this module and say, build succeeded, it says, and we've got zero warning, zero messages. So everything looks good at this point. So I'm just going to come out of this script now and I'm going to click on OK. Please do click on OK because if you click on cancel, it doesn't